hi everyone welcome back to my channel in this video we are going to learn how to fetch data from Shopify using postman so let's get started and click on settings and then click on apps and sale channels and then click on develop apps we need to create a new app to generate the access token so let's name this youtube youtube tutorial and create this app once the app is created we need to define the scope of of this app so we can so with that scope we can have the access to the data so it's taking time to create the app okay now our app is created click on configuration and we are going to access the admin api so we will configure the scope and for the moment we are going to fetch products and we will fetch the products as well as we will fetch orders so I will have access to the orders and the products click on save and then click on API credentials we need access token for for getting the access token we need to install this app so click on install and once the app is installed click on reveal token once let's copy this token and save that somewhere now open postman before postman we need to copy this url and then go to postman and add a new request paste that over here so we are going to fetch only products so i will type dot json here and i will replace the shop name with with my store so i'll copy my store name and then I will replace that with this variable shop name okay so let's remove this extra my shopify.com okay next thing we are going to do we are going to add a header and we need x shopify access token which we have generated in in the Shopify app so let's grab that and paste that over here now we have Shopify access token as well as content type application list so let's make this request and click on send and as you can see our request is successful we get the status at 200 ok and we get the products in json format so now let's try to get the orders and replace this product with orders and now you can see 
we are able to fetch orders from Shopify. Keep this mind. Please keep this access token secret because if you share this access token with anyone, access token with anyone, they can easily access your Shopify store data. So I will delete this app after this video. So this is just for the demo purpose. And uh, I hope you are not going to share with anyone this token. Okay. Now let's go back to our store. And let's uh, change the configuration. You can uh, change the uh, admin API scope anytime you can click on add it so let's go to the rest admin, admin API and if you need the customer data let's say you would like to fetch the customers data you will go to the customers and the end point is customers dot JSON and I need to give the permission to fetch customer i will type customers and read and write information read and write customers save that and let's copy this endpoint customer.json go back to the postman and click on this url and change customer.json customers.js so now send another request and now you have the access to the customer customer email address first name last name and everything you need to know about the customers so this is very simple you can you can use this information in any your application you can grab the code from here click on the uh, uh, code and you can get the if you are using node.js you can grab this this uh, code and you can make the node.js axios request and if you need another type of request like if you want to fetch this in a javascript you can simply change that here uh, that from here and you can make the request like this and you can copy this code and you can use in the in the javascript so let's try that and open uh, folder and I will go to the desktop and I will create a new folder Shopify here Shopify dot Shopify and I will type the I will select this folder I will create a new file let's name it index.js and I will paste the code over here okay now I will open the terminal and I will run node index.js to run this command and as you can see we have the response back in the JSON format okay so you can simply just change the products here and run this once again node.index.js and you will see we will get the products okay now you can see we have the products over here first we get the customers okay sorry I did not save the file let's save the file and try again let me clear this first and now try again and this time you will have all the products we see we have all the products data in JSON format this is the text format if you need that in JSON you can type JSON 
and now try again let's clear the terminal and try again node.js and this time you will see the data in json format okay you see every product has id title body html so very simple stuff you can make request to your shopify store using postman and then you can grab the code and you can use that in the in your application i hope this video was helpful for helpful for you and please don't forget to like and subscribe i will see you in the next video thank you for watching